It is said to be the hardest place on earth to reach. It is called, called the Northern Pole of Inaccessibility and temperatures there can drop to minus 50 degrees Celsius. But that hasn't deterred 20 year old Matt Bell. He's preparing for an ambitious polar expedition to the Arctic. Sharon Barber's caught up with him. Getting ready for an extraordinary adventure. Soon, 20-year-old Matt Bell will be swapping this Newcastle Park for ice as he takes part in a journey to what's described as the Northern Pole of Inaccessibility. If you asked me five years before this, I couldn't even have imagined it. I'm um, training for an expedition to the Northern Pole of Inaccessibility and it's a world first, but what drew me to this expedition was its scientific nature. <laughs> no one has made it there before and it's an expedition which as it happens will take around 80 days inspired by the adventures of phileas fogg as depicted recently by david tennant in the bbc tv series around the world in 80 days matt is now getting ready to become an explorer himself so that's my puffer expedition jacket that i will be wearing Oh, um, not forgetting the indestructible spoon. And finally, these feel like space boots. <laughs> now, these have been on expedition before me, actually, so they've got um, more experience than I have. The expedition will be led by Jim McNeil, scientist and British polar explorer. This is uh, a world first on the one hand. Uh, the last genuine world first in the polar region but on the other hand it's an incredibly important scientific uh, endeavor and what we're looking at is the sea ice how it forms and how it deforms we're counting polar bears we're looking at the ocean we have an advanced base camp at the edge of the of canada of high arctic canada and then we venture out to the very center of the arctic ocean which is where the northern pole of inaccessibility is that whole journey is 800 miles and so the whole expedition is about 80 days. One of the things that we'll learn about is how to stop polar bears from tracking us, which we'll learn in polar training. <laughs> Full training starts in May for the expedition next year. Sharon Barber, BBC News.